to talk to Daniel Murphy, the prized left field prospect for the New York Mets now. And I say left field because that's kind of what he was playing for the New York Mets. But here at the Arizona Fall League, Adam, he was playing a lot of second base, been doing a lot of work at second base. And we had the opportunity to talk about uh, when he moves on to the Puerto Rican League, where he's going to actually play left field there. So it's looking like he's going to end up being a super utility for the New York Mets. And this is what Daniel Murphy had to say about his play at the AFL, his 2008 season, and what he's looking to work on for the offseason. I'm here with Daniel Murphy and they uh, had a pretty great season in 2008, a lot of uh, expectations and kind of looked up to New York fans really love what you did. First game out there, crashing into wall in left field after really not playing in the outfield since spring. Talk a little bit about uh, the 2008 season for you. Well, I have to say uh, that this is a uh, season that I was very excited to go into the year and I'm very pleased to find this not making the playoffs at the end of the year, but again, I can't say nothing about it. to this kid talk, uh, it seems as though um, this kid is well beyond uh, mature as far as uh, a young prospect for the New York Mets. You're in, in New York, you work for New York Newsday, what's the thought around the New York Newsday beat writers that cover the Mets? Is this kid for real? Yeah, I think he is. I mean, you could tell just from watching him play, from hearing him speak, like you just said, and this is a guy, you know, basically nobody really thought about much coming into this season. I don't think if someone told you at the beginning of the year this guy would be an integral part of the Mets down the stretch, I don't think people would have believed that. I mean, this guy basically came from double A Binghamton. Mets had so many injuries in the outfield, threw him in there. He had some big at bats. Uh, you know, under the pressure of New York during the pennant race, and he came through with some big hits. And, you know, obviously the big thing is, where is he going to play? I mean, he's not great in the outfield, and obviously every Met fan would love to see him play second base, and that would mean no more Luis Castillo. And I think it, everybody wants to see Murphy over Castillo, because we know how bad Castillo has been. So, but the problem is, you know, I, I just don't see him being a regular second baseman yet. I heard he was kind of shaky down there in the Arizona Fall League. Yep. And will he have enough time to adjust to the position uh, at the big league level? And I, I don't know at this point. I mean, they can probably live with him a little bit in the outfield. But again, um, you know, is he going to be that much improved on defense where he can play every day? I'm not so sure. But love his approach at the plate. You know, takes a lot of pitches the other way. You know, an excellent approach for a guy who really didn't play AAA. So, you know, I think the Mets definitely want to make him an integral part of the team. The question is, where are they going to play him and how many at-bats will he get during the course of the season? Yeah, you know what, you make a great point there. And uh, while I was in the Arizona Fall League, I had an opportunity to talk to uh, Orlando Hudson. And I did an on-air interview with him, uh, video interview with him. And, you know, I got him to say 
that he wanted to be a part of the Mets. He said he really wanted to play second base next to Jose Reyes. And, you know, when you start putting stuff together, Adam, you know, a, a great thing for the New York Mets would be to maybe swap bad contracts, maybe you take a look and move Luis Castillo to maybe the Arizona Diamondbacks and take on an Eric Burns-type contract, put him in left field, and maybe bring in an Orlando Hudson and use, you know, maybe use uh, Daniel Murphy as a super utility. You know, I kind of compared him, and we'll hear it here in a second when I do the interview with Jack Voigt, uh, kind of compared him to a Mark DeRosa type. This is a kid that could possibly play several positions, and he could play every day to give certain guys days off. What are your thoughts about that possibility in New York? Maybe bringing Hudson in to play second, swapping Luis Castillo for Eric Burns, and then using maybe Daniel Murphy as a super utility player. You know what? I was never big on Eric Burns from a fantasy perspective. I thought he was overvalued last year. I thought he had a career. But you know what? With the way the Mets roster is constituted now, this is the type of player that the Mets need. He brings passion energy. He plays the game hard. He's not going to put up tremendous statistics. I mean, I think that was a career year a couple years ago when he came in his contract game. He got his big contract. But I'd rather have him on my team than Luis Castillo right now, because Castillo brings nothing to the team. So if you're going to swap bad contracts, I don't think that's a bad idea at all. Uh, to get a guy like Burns, and, and that's the type of way the Mets need. You know, you saw it like a Shane Victorino type when he did the Phillies. Now, Burns is not as good as Victorino, <laughs> but Burns brings that energy and intensity and passion. And then you also entail pick up an Orlando Hudson, who I think would be a good fit. And obviously, you said he wanted a player, which is kind of surprising that he would say that at this point. But, you know, good job on getting to say that. Yeah. But he's also, uh, he's also a good guy that would be a good fit for this team. And... Absolutely. I mean, that's not a bad comparison. Houston DeRosa was tremendous for the Cubs this year. I don't think a lot of people realize how good he was for the Cubs. When you look at those numbers, I mean, for people who follow closely, they know. I bet you if you, most people look at Mark DeRosa's numbers right now, they'd be shocked at the yep. numbers he put up this year. He, he was huge for them. And, and Murphy could be that guy. You know, you, you, you play him here in left field, maybe second base, David Wright gets a day off. Not going to happen many, very often, but you plug him in at third. And, you know, you, you use them, uh, some pitch hitting appearances, that's not a bad idea. And, you know, the Mets are going to have to be creative in a lot of things they do. And that is certainly a scenario that you just uh, proposed that I would not be that all uh, opposed to. I think it would be actually be a pretty good idea if they can do that. Again, you know, they want to move Luis Castillo's contract. It's going to be very difficult. Now, if you could bring back Eric Burns, I don't like that contract either. But, again, you know, he's the type of player, that a tangible player that I think the Mets need and, and certainly could help them. Yeah, because when you take a look at maybe the Mets roster, I think it's you're more inclined, or actually when you take a look at the prospects, I think there's more outfield prospects for the New York Mets than someone at second base. So to get someone established, a gold glover in Orlando Hudson, uh, I'd rather have him and then take on the contract of Eric Burns because let's say, for instance, Eric Burns goes down. You see what happened when Moises Alou went down this year. Plenty of guys filled in great in left field for the New York Mets. And that, to me, I think, you know, to build a corner outfield spot, especially with a prospect or, or to bring in a veteran, is a lot easier than to fill the second base position because we've seen it from the Mets in the past that when Luis Castillo has gone down in the past, it's been very difficult to sit there and bring somebody in to fill in that gap. Yeah, and if you get a Hudson, you could you know potentially put him in a two spot. He could yep. do uh, some more speed at the top of the lineup. And again, if you were to bring in Eric Burns here and put him in left field, you're not asking him to do too much. Right. I mean, he can hit you know probably seventh on this team if you were to bring him in. You know, uh, assuming that you got Church and Wright and, and the usual suspects, and you're not asking him to do too much. It's not like you know he's playing with Arizona and he's hitting third, fourth, to fifth, and they're asking him and counting on him to do a lot. So it would be a good move. And then, you know, again, if he does get hurt, you know, you saw the Mets fill And, of course, they always have Fernando Martinez moving, whether it's next year or the year after. So, uh, you know, that, that, that definitely is a possibility. And, again, the Mets are going to have to find a way to be a little bit creative this offseason. Obviously, the bullpen is a major need, but they also do need to think about second base. How they uh, are they going to incorporate Daniel Murphy into the mix? Because it certainly seems like they want to. And, you know, they're going to have to find a spot for him and figure out a way to do it. I 